Hey guys, what's up? It is Andrew from Fun the World Interactive and welcome back to another video. This video is going to show small creators how they can improve their YouTube channel with TubeBuddy. Let's roll that intro. TubeBuddy is a Chrome extension of that integrates directly with YouTube to help creators get their videos noticed. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through um, one of my videos, the Nikon D5200 review, and we're just going to show what part of TubeBuddy I use for this video and how it helped my video get a little bit more uh, notice and a little more views than I usually get. So we're going to go in here real quick. And we're just going to go straight into it here. And I'll uh, pop my webcam up uh, right over here so you guys can see me as well. All right. So first thing I did was I used the title generator. And um, I typed in Nikon D5200 and I generated ideas. And I am using the TubeBuddy uh, Pro model. This is a, a, fi a four or no, $5.99 a month. But if you have less than a, a thousand subscribers, if you use a code that will be on their website and also have it down in the link below, you'll be able to get it for $3 a month. And you also can save additional money by doing it the yearly. So as you guys can see, as I did generate ideas, we have obviously, we have a few ideas and, uh, and they use AI writing tools to generate these, ti uh, these titles and descriptions. So we do have a couple variations of my videos. Um, Title. Next thing, we can also add chapters, which I added chapters uh, right here. And uh, this is when I did it manually, but if you actually click here and add chapters, it'll automatically do it right here. You know, mute myself real quick. But obviously, you can add more than one, and then you can add chapter, and then do this, that, and the other. Um, and then I'll automatically add it over here. But I did it myself, and uh, these chapters do go into the video, which works just fine. Uh, another thing uh, that you can use over here, uh, right under your video, is going to be an SEO studio. So we can type in uh, Nikon D5200, and if you press start, it'll give you a TBuddy, TubeBuddy SEO score. So I already optimized the Nikon D5200 keyword, which gives us an SEO score of 100% as well. And we will uh, not save the changes. There we go. All right. Another thing down here, if we actually hit down here, the tag tools, you have a whole ton of tags that uh, TubeBuddy recommends you that you can put into um, your tags. So I already have this. You only can do 500 characters. So I have a bunch of these. And then uh, this little green number is where it ranks on the YouTube algorithm when you type in that specific tag. So Nikon D5200 on video number 17. Uh, if we do um, photography tips, that's number 24. Nikon D5200 video test is 10. D5200 review is 18, and so on and so forth. And then if we actually open the video itself and we wait a quick second here on the side, you're going to get this video analytics page. Now this video analytics page is really good uh, for you to be able to figure out ways to increase your SEO score and just see how it's doing across um, different social media. So if you look up at Twitter, I made the first ever tweet on the new funnel interactive, and then that's where we have this at, and then we have not posted on Facebook or on uh, Reddit. So as you can see, we have this SEO score right here, and it's on 95 out of 100, which is really good. I'm usually between 85 and 100, which makes things really good. So if you actually, and it does look different if you have that target keyword versus when you don't, um, but I will just go over a few of the things here. It says, if we include a target keyword in your title, which we have it right there in the beginning, uh, include 80% uh, of your target keyword in the title. Obviously, we have 100%. Include the target keyword in your first 60 characters of the title. Obviously, we already have that. Include it in the first 200 uh, characters of the description. We have it right here. 
And we also have it right here as well. So we have it in two different areas. And then we also have include partial matches of your target keyword in the description, which we do. The only thing we do not have is include your exact target keyword as the first tag, which is because I just didn't capitalize the N and the D. Um, but, and then we also have include partial matches on your target keyword and more include more relevant tags, which we all have as well. So the best practices that they also will give you is having like high res thumbnails, info cards, end screens, captions, chapters. Um, if you have comments pinned in heart and then also liked on Facebook, but some other best practices that you can do. So another thing that it has SEO related is like creator suggestions. So how many of these videos down here are of the creator uh, in the first 20 and how many are actually ranked and tags. We have 12 different tags that are actually ranked on the algorithm. And now we obviously can do stuff by like, we can compare to like your most popular video and click compare. So you can see how it does versus my most popular video, which is that Rockville RCMO2 microphone review I did a couple years back. Um, so as we can see here, um, that got 13,000 um, videos, 43 comments, 93 likes. Uh, SEO scores are exactly the same. Um, rank tags, this has 12, that has 3. And uh, both of them, none, none of those uh, suggested uh, videos are of my account. So, that is exactly what TubeBuddy has to offer. It pretty much just gives you um, SEO tools and other um, pretty decent thing here that are uh, features that you can help you um, get your video more noticed, give it a little more of a um, higher quality in terms of how much effort you put into it as well. And some other things that we can talk about here real quick before we get into the outro and the affiliate link that I'll have in the link in the description below is um, you can also get uploaded defaults. So if you um, go to upload defaults, and, and uh, that wasn't supposed to reload. So you can add upload defaults where you can like add a default um, stuff onto the onto the uh, description or the title or um, audience stuff like that. So like all of this stuff right here is a um, or right here is a default that comes with every single uh, video. It just has some of our media and stuff like that. And then uh, tags I add after I do tags. And then if I have any products, I will I'll paste it right here. So we have like the D5200 on eBay and the newer microphones, which are currently unavailable on Amazon, but they do have other models that are available. Also, make sure you do do chapters. Um, you can do it through TubeBuddy or you can do it yourself. That also does just help out with your video. It gives uh, a little bit of a more in-depth detail of what each area is. So if a... a uh, viewer wants to go straight into the video test, they can go straight to 336 instead of watching the first three minutes of the video, so on and so forth. So other than that, that is all that we have here with uh, TubeBuddy. Uh, we all, uh, we'll be having our, the, the affiliate link in the link in the description below. Um, and uh, if you guys really want to uh, use this and you guys test it out with the affiliate link, please let me know how you guys feel in the comments below and how that experience has helped you. It has helped me a lot, as we can see in the channel content. Um, we I was able to get some nice thumbnails um, started. Uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be doing a video on how to make good thumbnails uh, here in a, in a little bit, and then um, just other ways to improve your YouTube videos as well. And um, but my uh, little checklist of making a good video, or at least a good video to myself, consists of. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, affiliate link is in the description below. Make sure you click on that. Get yourself a plan. And uh, it'll help me a lot, a little bit, because I'll be able to get a little bit of money from TubeBuddy. And it'll help you guys get a better YouTube channel. So let's all roll that outro. We'll see you in the next one.